Mohawk Bob with Fire Night TV and Thunder Night Entertainment. Welcome. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's our honor. Well, tell us where you're originally from. Uh, I'm from Minnesota. Okay, tell us about Minnesota. I've never been there. It's cold. Don't go in the wintertime. Stay uh, home. Yeah, <laughs> stay home. The uh, fall is lovely, but other than that, you might risk. But yeah, I lived there pretty much up until I was 26, and then I lived in Australia for three years. Okay. And then I went home for a couple years, and now I'm in Colorado. And we love having you here. Yay. Yes, that's a good thing. What got you into the performing arts and pole dancing? Groupon. Okay. I was right out of college. Um, my a few of my roommates and I, we would at night, we would, or we would like put on these like funny dance music videos to like keep us up at night sure so much homework and so then once we got out of college one of them found like groupon for pole dancing and we were like <laughs> this sounds hilarious and i literally fell in love with a metal pole that day 100 and how long have you been doing this a little over 11 years quite a bit of experience Yes. <laughs> now tell us about the DTC Ultimate Showdown Champion 22, Dance Filthy USA Pro Champion 21. The Ultimate Showdown at DTC, DTC is Downtown Cabaret, it's in Minneapolis, okay. it's a strip club. So that was a strip club um, competition. They had like, it was like once a month for like six or seven months, something like that, they had a competition and all the winners from those competitions competed in the showdown okay the end, and i i took home the bag so we how do you beat that that's <laughs> awesome yeah and then uh dance filthy is a pole competition they have them everywhere i also won in australia the 2018 dance filthy competition and then they had USA and I was like, I want to win this. This is, I wanted this to be my last like whole competition and I won it and I feel really good about it. And it was, oh, awesome. and you should my feel favorite. good about it. That's amazing. It's my favorite competition. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Well, uh, we noticed you have a lot of skills today in our <laughs> filming. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about performing on stage with the fantastic Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> Uh, it was amazing, like such a mind-blowing experience. Um, so I've danced with him four times. Um, the first time was at Sturgis in 2019. Um, I accidentally kicked him. Oops! Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I like throated him a little bit <laughs> on accident. Like I was upside down doing something and I like felt my foot hit something and I looked up and I was like <gasps> like mortified. <laughs> mortified was he mortified though uh he kept doing his thing he didn't you know he just so rolled he, on yeah it's, he's a professional but, but yeah so then I've danced with him three other times the last time was in Denver um he was just here and it was it was such a good experience I've met him a few times now we got to smoke a blunt with him how come I wasn't invited? I don't know. Next time, Bob. <laughs> next time, okay? We'll go have some fun, right? Yeah. But he's he's a great person. He's just got, like, such a good energy about him. And, like, he's so friendly. And, yeah. That's it's the way it should be. It you know? Is, yeah. He's got status. He's up there. And, and to be a friendly person, that, that says a lot. It does. It does. And, yeah, what a powerhouse. All right, Miss Abby. Tell us about all your other artistic endeavors. Um, so I'm a graphic designer, illustrator. I went to uh, college at the Minneapolis uh, College of Art and Design, and I have a degree in, like a bachelor's degree in illustration. Um, so I take on projects every now and then. I do graphic design, like I do logos and stuff. I really love drawing um, and just like using my hands. I, I used to paint skateboards like all the time. Oh wow! So I have stacks and stacks of skateboards at my house. Cool. It's been like traveling with me for years, but 
Yeah, so that's that's like a whole other part of my life. But I feel like it translated really well into pole, just like the artistic side yeah. of things. You're because artistic all the way around, it sounds like to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm always here for more, for more making art projects and stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Because the door will be open, obviously. Yeah. I mean, you have a lot of skills. <laughs> What future products do you have in the works, being with Thunder Night Entertainment? I'm helping them. I'm dancing in War of Powers. Uh, I'm really excited. We just did some filming, and I'm really pumped to see how it turns out. I like it. I'm just saying. Don't tell my wife. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Where can our audience find you on social media? You can find me at... The raddest Abby on um, TikTok, Instagram. But Instagram and TikTok is probably the best places to find me for sure. And she definitely is the raddest Abby I've met, my friend. <laughs> Tell us about Leviathan Part 2. Um, it is a sequel to Leviathan Part 1. It's a pole dancing, you know, fitness video. Um, and it is it coincides with the War of Power. So. Yes, and, and probably we're going to have future roles for you. You're so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. I'd love to be a part of it. Yeah, awesome. What future plans do you have for yourself? What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. I love, I want to do more like gigs and stuff like this, like working with like with music videos and stuff. I'm, I, I have my own app as well, so I'm working on just kind of, you know, building that up and I hold retreats. So I'm just trying to push those and travel the world and show people cool dance moves at the same time. Okay. This could be a whole business for you too. Yeah, that's I mean, I could see where that's going. Right. With all the skills, you're just kind of stacking everything up and before you know it, it'll be the raddest fuck business, <laughs> right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Well, thank you for coming on Fire Night TV and spending your day with us. Of course. It was our honor. Thanks for and, having me. Oh, yes. And we'll uh, meet again for sure, my friends. I hope so. Thanks, Cheers. Bob. <laughs> Cheers.